Um, I think it's the way a person feels sexually towards any form of being, whether it's a girl, boy, or someone in between. I think sexuality is fluid. I think it kind of depends on the person, you know. I, I don't think there's a clear-cut answer. I think it kind of varies person by person, and whatever somebody feels, that's kind of how they define their sexuality. Uh, sexual preference, sexual orientation, everything that has to do with, I guess, sexual attraction and... Uh, Genders. Um, some people say it's a setback in certain things, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, or anything of that sort. But it's not really a setback. I think it's just an abnormality. And so disability is kind of like a hindrance. So people kind of have it's like an extra obstacle for people to kind of get over to do something. Uh. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Um, wow, how do disabilities and sexualities correlate? <laughs> it's in the way of some people, and sometimes some people think sexuality is the most important thing, and disability you look at somebody with a disability and typically you think that person's not capable of doing something so the both kind of are obstacles for people to get to kind of get through their next task i think is probably the best way to put it You have overcome so many obstacles, which means you're a hero and are too good to have sex. You are a helpless victim and can't do anything on your own. These are nothing more than misconceptions about people with disabilities. If you've grown up seeing yourself as a non-sexual person because of your disability, it can be hard to start thinking of yourself as sexual or sexy. Some people might see your disability as defining who you are, but being disabled doesn't mean you're not sexual. Remember that it's only when you see yourself as attractive and sexual that others can begin to see you this way too.